All right, so if you guys saw the video yesterday, you would have seen me doing deadlifting. Um, I did 107 kilos for three sets of five, which is around 80 or 80 percent of my one rep max or the one rep max currently. Um, so I just used the uh, the lift that I did, I think two weeks ago now, I uh, pulled 210 um, after not deadlifting for three months, blah, 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 blah. I used that as kind of the, um, the, the weight I was going to use as my kind of virtual uh, max. So anyway, that's what I did yesterday. Um, I also used alternate grip. Usually I don't do that. Usually I use straps. Um, I decided with some of your recommendations, I decided to give um, over under a go. Um, I was kind of a little bit... Uh, not scared, um, but uh, low on confidence in terms of the grip because I'm kind of afraid of the injuries associated with the underhand grip. Um, I'm sure some of you guys know that the underhand um, is exposed to some weird forces through the arm and there's been a lot of bicep tendon ruptures with that hand, especially when you're handling heavier loads. Um, so anyway, that's kind of the reason why I haven't used that grip. Um, in my lifting career, um, I've used always straps and then for you know one rep kind of singles attempts heavy Singles sometimes doubles. I, I'd use the hook grip Anyway, so I did that yesterday. So today obviously I'm a little bit fatigued um, deadlifting is still kind of a, a Stressor to me. Um, I don't recover all that well after deadlifting uh, So today I kind of came in I was like, what am I gonna do? Like I was supposed to do a bit of bench pressing a bit of kind of rowing and whatever and uh, I just wasn't feeling it. Um, my uh, forearms are absolutely jacked from the ho the over under grip. Um, my traps are fried, um, and just systemic fatigue. So I thought, do I just go to a heavy single today on the squats, or do I do some like reps of 30, reps of 50? Like, what sort of rep scheme am I going to do today? Today's supposed to be kind of a recovery. Anyway, so I thought to myself, there's no point in going for kind of like a heavy single because I'm tired, and there's no going. There's no point going super high reps because once again fatigue so i thought let's just go to uh, kind of like a comfortable five sets uh, five reps so i picked 160 kilos and i did that for five reps as you're going to see now on the screen um it moved kind of all right um fatigue still there i don't have the pop kind of slow out of the bottom um but uh, anyway uh after after i finished that set i started thinking to myself is there any point actually doing these heavy singles anymore maybe i should just do kind of a top set from now on um, some sort of like rep scheme so even on my recovery days I should do like a set of five rather than like a, a you know a heavy single kind of like the Bulgarian way um, heavy singles have I don't know I'm starting to kind of think they have very little to offer um, uh, especially when you're doing a sub maximally um, so I generally go up to 90% never more uh, uh, on most days. I haven't really gone over 90% for at least a month now. Um, it's been certainly a month and a half since I've done the last 200 kilo squat. Um, so I'm always kind of 90%. Um, the single usually moves well. So I thought to myself, maybe I should just have, add a little more value to these top sets and just maybe do a set of five at the top with like 160 on a good day, maybe 170. Um, so anyway, that's kind of in my head right now. So still the plan is to kind of deadlift twice a week, um, kind of heavy, uh, and then deadlift every day uh, with kind of 60 kilos, as you, as you guys know already. Um, and then obviously squat every day as well. Um, the squat every day, I kind of push a lot harder than the deadlifting every day. Deadlifting every day is basically, I just walk in and I just do, you know, 135 pound or whatever, 60 kilos for five, six to 10. That's what I do, it's just purely warm up thing. I uh, really find that it kind of warms up my hips and my hamstrings and then when I finally get to the squatting I feel way ahead of the game. I feel really warm and I feel really ready. Um, the squat is generally a you know harder lift uh, due to mobility so if you can kind of do some warm-ups beforehand um, it kind of helps you. Obviously you can do squatting as a warm-up as well. You can just do you know a set of 20 with the barbell or whatever and that kind of gets the blood going as well. Um, but anyway, I'm really enjoying the deadlifting every day. Obviously, still enjoying the squatting every day. Um, but after heavy deadlift sessions like yesterday, um, I'm struggling to do anything on, on the following day. So anyway, just some thoughts there. Um, I know some of you guys are, are squatting every day with me as well now. Um, yeah, just uh, 
some some thoughts, some some food for thought. Uh, um, consider doing like a heavy set of five rather than just a heavy single um, or whatever it could be anything um, uh, but make sure it's not balls to the wall right like the, the point is not to substitute a really really heavy single for a really really heavy five like you know you don't want to do that you still want to kind of dip underneath that you know uh, threshold for recovery you still want to recover for the coming heavier sessions so right now I'm kind of managing to hit kind of two, maybe three kind of dedicated squat kind of uh, days where I actually try and go after it a little bit. Um, you know, usually one of those sessions I'm thinking of doing like, you know, a heavier session, like, a, um, you know, this week I did 10 sets of three. Um, and then uh, I, I think, was it this week as well? I'm, I'm losing track now. I did uh, 100 kilos for 30 reps. So, you know, I'm trying to kind of bounce around the place. Um, but the in-between days is going to be something like that, comfortable kind of set of five or something. Um, yeah, the recovery days, are still moving though. So that's where I'm at right now. Some more thinking, some more kind of uh, evolution to my thoughts of, of training. Um, maybe I'll substitute these heavy singles for heavy fives. Anyway, guys, that's all I'm going to say on this video. Have a good day. Catch you.